Now, as we have done with the gate entity method implementation, which we have done in the DPC extension class with the method that is our entity set underscore get underscore entity. So get entity method, as I explained, we here we use this to select the single record from the table by passing all the primary keys of that entity. So now we'll implement the second one that is the get entity set. The get entity set is used when we want to fetch the multiple records. The output here is a work area and in get entity set the output is in the form of a table. So to re-implement this get entity set, first go to change mode. Again, place the cursor here and click on redefine. Once we redefine, remove the default default block which is coming automatically. Now before doing the code, just have a look at the signature. If you're not able to see the signature, Suppose initially if your screen is like this, you just need to click on this signature button. So we can see what are all the importing parameters and what are all the exporting parameters for this particular method. So here if you see same like ID and also key tab and some additional like filter options, filter string that all will see in the upcoming sessions. But the important point here is, if you see here, the exporting parameter, this is the exporting parameter icon. Here we have the ET underscore entity sets, and the type here is TT. Earlier it was TS, that is work area. Double click here, check the structure. So here this TT underscore header type is standard table of TS underscore header, okay? TS underscore header is a work area of this type. This means that in the entity set, we can pass the output in a exporting table rather than only a single work area. Fine. So what we'll do? Select the record from DB, that is database. Here I will write select all from ZOVB aka into corresponding fields of table that is ET underscore entity set. Initially I'm not passing any very close for very close and all you have to learn some more deep about the data it is how to pass dollar filter and all at that time we'll add the where clause so as of now my requirement is just to select all the records from this table into the entity set table just have a look at our table entries how many records we have in our table so here we can see we have around 27 records as of now in this table so I just written a single select query select all from this into corresponding fields of table et underscore entity set save check no error activate okay let's put a breakpoint here and also we will set one more breakpoint in the gate entity method we understand how system trigger the respective method. Go back. Rightly in the service maintenance, click on maintain. Once you click on maintain, you can see the SAP get the client. Double click here. This is the by default URL which is coming. And you have to select the entity set from here. I'm going with the SO header set. And as soon as I click on execute button, you can see that our breakpoint is triggered and this time it is into get underscore entity set. 
press F5 F8 so I can see all the records in the output see we can have all the we can see all the records in my output table and the status score is 200 that is success so by default this output is in the XML format and suppose in case if you want to see the output into the JSON format so before going to JSON the important point here is observe the ER date the date field in XML we can see in this format that is the year month date T is for time and this is time you have to pass like this and suppose in case if you want to see output in the JSON format so after the entity sets here we can see the add URI option click here here you can see dollar format equal to JSON okay so the after our URL whenever you want to add any parameter the parameter gets added with a question mark we can add multiple parameters as of now we'll see how it works with the format equal to JSON click on execute again same method is trigger effect now this time if you see the output here this is in the JSON format which is very easy to read compared to the XML format here also the date is different it is in the millisecond okay so if you compare only date the XML format date is easy to read but in overall the JSON format is easy to read so now because I not pass any primary key that's why by default the get entity set methods trigger so now as I have set breakpoint in both the place so let me pass the key field let's say here I'm passing the record number let's say 8 again send the gate method and just click on execute button now this time if you observe system has automatically trigger the gate underscore entity method so this is the beauty of this framework system automatically define uh, automatically identify which method to be triggered based on the URL which is coming so as we have already seen this system will read the input value and system will give the respective single output as I pass the record number 8 so here in the output we can see the VBELN is 8 and suppose in the same record if you want to see in the JSON format just go here and select the dollar format equal to JSON and execute again so again we can see the gate is triggered and this time we can see the output in the JSON format instead of XML because here this time I have passed dollar format equal to JSON so this is how we have to implement the get entity and the get entity set method now we are done with both get and get entity set method so next we'll see how to create a new record into the database that we'll see in the next session